Hi everyone. Good morning. This is the seventh video on Rex programming. We'll discuss about procedures and functions in this video. Okay, let's start with procedures. When you want to write some logic uh, which is you know repeatedly used any number of times, then you take advantage of reusability. You will code the logic separately and call whenever needed. Uh, when n number of times execution is required from one program, you keep, you keep it as um, within the program called as internal procedure or internal routines. If it is going to be called from multiple programs, you keep it as separate member called you know separate uh, sub program or um, you know external procedure like that. You will keep it up. Okay. Now um, in this case, um, what I'm doing here is. Um, Okay, I'll introduce the word called pull. We know that say is for uh, for displaying to terminal. Pull is for receiving from terminal. So I'm taking two number. I'm calling a add function. That add function is going to sum the two uh, two variables what I received. So two variables I received here. I'm calling add one. Call is something like to call a procedure. We use the word call. Add one is a procedure. So I'm going to add one here. Say receive numbers. Whatever it is received, it is going to display me. And num3 is nothing but num1 plus num2 and I am displaying the num3 here and return num3 yes. Uh, usually procedures don't return anything only functions return something and um, and in Rex so you can optionally return um, something in procedure also and um, whatever it is returned by procedure that will contain in the reserve word called result. So what happens is in this case uh, num3 and result both will have same value result because I am returning some value which is num3 that is say, saved in result and I am receiving here num3 by default it is a variable so it receives value so assuming that I am passing 8 and 1 the value here will be 9 here also 9 and um, you need to understand that um, the variables are shared between the mm, main as well as the program when I am calling like this I can optionally have you know procedure next to um, the label if I code the procedure what happens is all the variable referred inside the routine become local to that variable if I want to share anything I have to code it after expose keyword so let me set num3 as equal to 0 and call add 2 when I am doing call add 2 what happens is I do expose to num1 so my num1 only will have the value what is centered by the user here so in this case receive num1 and num2 num1 will be what entered by user num2 is nothing but num2 itself because uh, uh, you know it is it is local and no values are assigned the um, uninitialized value of variable is nothing but the variable name itself in capital letter that we have already seen as a part of variable concept so what i am doing here is uh, if num1 is the value is nothing but num if it is same like num1 then i am setting num1 to 0 this is to avoid sock 7 because in our case num2 since we, have, we haven't received that is going to contain num2 if i you know sum num2 alpha numeric with some numeric i may get a sock 7 so to avoid that i am setting 0 num2 i am setting at 0 so num3 becomes 0 plus what is passed in num1 that is the total here here also i do a return of num3 so this num3 will be 0 because the num3 is not exposed it is not shared between main and subroutine so num3 will have a value which is just before call which is 0 result is nothing but um, we will get what is uh, returned by um, the procedure at 2 which is nothing but num3 num3 here it has a value so that will come here okay so let's execute this we will pass 8 for num1 and um, 1 for num2 so what happens here 8 plus 1 here and here you will get 8 and 1 here you will have 9 so here you will have 9 and 9 is returned so you will have 9 9 here and here what will happen is add 2 you will have 8 and num2 num2 itself the word will come num2 and um, so num2 becomes 0 with this assignment so 8 plus 0 this is going to contain 8 and 8 is returned so the result is going to contain 8 this is 0 so 0 and 8 this is what my expectations let's execute this routine to basic I know I think man. yeah it's asking I'll pass 8 I'll pass 1 
so i got 8 and 1 total in 9 9 i am getting next is 8 and num2 total inside procedure is 8 and 0 and 8 so if you want to see total inside procedure i am expecting 9 that's obvious but still if you want to see that probably i'll add some spaces Eight. Okay. So eight and one is received, and nine is inside procedure. After here also nine and nine. In the other case num two. So the total is eight inside the procedure, and um, the main um, that variable num two is initialized value, but the result is contained the eight. So with this we are done with procedures. We'll uh, start with uh, functions. Functions and procedure is. Um, more or less, you know, you can use an interchangeable way in um, a Rex environment because it's as simple as if instead of call, if I put something like x equal to add, if I go like this, that's it. Now the instead of result, what is going to happen is um, the add function is called. So what is the, um, you know, here num3 return is num3 the num3 will assign to x so if i do like this it is a procedure if i do like this it is a function when a procedure returns something it will get into a result variable when function returns something it will go to the variable which i got left off it as simple as that so otherwise it's you know interchangeable the keyword of um, the, you know the term of rex and um, procedure in uh, rex language anyway i would have written some program for that you'll see it basic 10 i think yeah here what i am doing is add num1 and num2 so total in main i am using instead of num3 i am using a x because the value is returned to whenever you do any return that is coming to uh, the left hand side variable so it is x is going to contain the returned one which is um, 9 result is meaningless so it is not going to contain anything result will have a result only in the other case also uh, we do the same thing what happens uh, 8 and 1 so 8 and 0 so it's going to have 8 the 8 will come here and this is going to be a result okay let us execute and see 5 8 and 1 inside the procedure is 9 here 9 and result so result uh, in case of procedure this would have a value in case of function this is uh, uh, you know just a result it's an initialized variable so this line is nothing but x to which the value is written similarly 8 to which uh, x for which you know the value is written so if you remember you know in variable concept i said some variables you should not um, uh, use okay it is not anyway there is no reserve word as such in rex programming but still ibm recommends you know certain variables certain names not to be used for a variable name that is one very one such variable is result because what happens if you said assuming that in case of uh, if i assign our result value as 10 and if i call some procedure the value is getting you know changed by the routine so that is not fair you set a variable some value it should retain the value till you change it so for that reason you know they they suggest not to use some um, result another one is um, you know rc rc is nothing but return code and then whenever you call other environment comment uh, the rc will become um, automatically changed based on the result of the um, operation what you did in the other environment so rc also for that reason you know ibm recommends not to use rc also so rc and result are the two uh, words um, we are not supposed to use for variable purpose there is one more word is there which is SAGL which will cover as part of error handling 
I think we are done with you know uh, procedures and functions. You can try it out at your end if there are any questions um, or doubts, so let me know. And also, you know, just to add up, uh, since it's a, you know, it's not necessary that you need to pass anything. If you code like this also, it is fine because the variables are shared in this case. It's not like um, uh, I haven't made it, you know, uh, protect the variable by means of procedure with respect to add one. So in that case, you know, you don't need to pass anything as such. If you code like this also, the result will be same only. Just to try once. Okay. Okay. You can try it out at your end. And if there is any questions, let me know. Thanks.